Praise the Lord, welcome to the 70 Days Prayer and Fasting Program. Section 6 is titled O God, Advertise Your Power in My Life. The Bible reading is 1 Samuel 17. Chapter 17 Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and were gathered together at Shocho, which belongeth to Judah, and pitched between Shocho and Azekah in Aphes Damim. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, and pitched by the valley of Elah, and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on the one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side, and there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits in a span. And he had an helmet of brass upon his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and the weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders. And the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear's head weighed six hundred shekels of iron. And one bearing a shield went before him. And he stood and cried unto the armies of Israel, and said unto them, Why are ye come out to set your battle in array? Am not I a Philistine, and ye servants to Saul? Choose you a man for you, and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me, and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him, and kill him, then shall ye be our servants, and serve us. And the Philistine said, I defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man, that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of that Ephrathite of Bethlehem Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons, and the man went among them for an old man in the days of Saul. And the three eldest sons of Jesse went and followed Saul to the battle. And the names of his three sons that went to the battle were Eliab the firstborn, and next unto him Abinadab, and the third Shammah. And David was the youngest, and the three eldest followed Saul. But David went and returned from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. And the Philistine drew near morning and evening, and presented himself forty days. And Jesse said unto David his son, Take now for thy brethren an ephah of this parched corn, and these ten loaves, and run to the camp to thy brethren, and carry these ten cheeses unto the captain of their thousand, and look how thy brethren fare, and take their pledge. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose up early in the morning, and left the sheep with the keeper, and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench, as the host was going forth to the fight, and shouted for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array, army against army. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage, and ran into the army, and came and saluted his brethren. And he talked with them. Behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines, and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him, and were sore afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that is come up? Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spake to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine, and taketh away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine, that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. And Eliab his eldest brother heard when he spake unto the men, and Eliab's anger was kindled against David, and he said, Why camest thou down hither, and with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride, and the naughtiness of thine heart, for thou art come down, that thou mightest see the battle. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another, and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from his youth. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. 
And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he hath defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, The Lord hath delivered me out of the paw of the lion, and out of the paw of the bear. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put an helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off him. And he took his staff in his hand, and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook, and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a scrip, and his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on, and drew near unto David, and the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth, and ruddy, and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog, that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver thee into mine hand, and I will smite thee, and take thine head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose, and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted, and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag, and took thence a stone, and slang it, and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead, and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling, and with a stone, and smote the Philistine, and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran, and stood upon the Philistine, and took his sword, and drew it out of the sheath thereof, and slew him, and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines, until they come to the valley and to the gates of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shearaim, even unto Gath and unto Ekron. And the children of Israel returned from chasing after the Philistines, and they spoiled their tents. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put his armor in his tent. And when Saul saw David go forth against the Philistine, he said unto Abner, the captain of the host, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As thy soul liveth, O king, I cannot tell. And the king said, Inquire thou whose son the stripling is. And as David returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul, with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son art thou, thou young man? And David answered, I am the son of thy servant Jesse the Bethlehemite. Time for our Bible Confession Revelation 5 verse 12, and it reads, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. There's a place I love to tarry, when my soul is sad, He's alone with Christ my Savior, where he leads me calm and rest. Just to be alone with Jesus, just to hear him softly sing. In a door the world holds in view, you will Thank you.
Now repeat these prayers of praise and thanksgiving. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for drawing me to prayer and power. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for baptizing me with the Holy Spirit. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for producing spiritual gifts upon my life. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the fruits of the Spirit working in me. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonderful gift of praise. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the ways you have intervened in my affairs. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your divine plan for my life. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you will never leave me nor forsake me. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for bringing me to a place of maturity and deeper life. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me up when I fall. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for keeping me in perfect peace. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making all things work together for good for me. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for protecting me from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the wonder-working power in your word and in the blood of the Lamb. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for giving your angels charge over me. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for fighting for me against my adversaries. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for making me more than a conqueror. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for supplying all my needs according to your riches in glory. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your healing power upon my body, soul and spirit. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for flooding my heart with the light of heaven. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for always causing me to triumph in Christ Jesus. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for turning my curses into blessings. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for enabling me to dwell in safety. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for all the blessings of life. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your greatness, power, glory, majesty, splendor and righteousness. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for silencing the foe and the avenger. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are at my right hand and I shall not be moved. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are trustworthy and will help your own. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for not allowing my enemies to rejoice over me. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your wonderful love. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are great and greatly to be praised. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for delivering my soul from death and my feet from stumbling. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for you are my fortress and refuge in time of trouble. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your faithfulness and marvelous deeds. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your act of power and surpassing greatness. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for dispersing spiritual blindness from my spirit. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for lifting me out of the depths. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for preserving me and keeping my feet from slipping. Father in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your name is a strong tower, the righteous runs into it and he is safe. Pray these following prayers. 
I command every spiritual arrow that causes terminal diseases to return to its sender in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual arrow that causes terminal diseases to return to its sender in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual arrow that causes terminal diseases to return to its sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let the blood of Jesus shield me and my family from every spiritual arrow of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the blood of Jesus shield me and my family from every spiritual arrow of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the blood of Jesus shield me and my family from every spiritual arrow of the wicked in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let the blood of Jesus flush out every spiritual arrow of unexplainable sickness and disease from my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the blood of Jesus flush out every spiritual arrow of unexplainable sickness and disease from my life in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the blood of Jesus flush out every spiritual arrow of unexplainable sickness and disease from my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. O Lord, by the power in your name, let every arrow of mental derangement fired into my life be destroyed, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by the power in your name, let every arrow of mental derangement fired into my life be destroyed, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by the power in your name, let every arrow of mental derangement fired into my life be destroyed, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of poverty come out of my life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of poverty come out of my life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of poverty come out of my life and destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command every spiritual arrow of marital frustration to be destroyed now, in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual arrow of marital frustration to be destroyed now, in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual arrow of marital frustration to be destroyed now, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I fire back every evil arrow fired into my life when I was conceived in my mother's womb in the name of Jesus. I fire back every evil arrow fired into my life when I was conceived in my mother's womb in the name of Jesus. I fire back every evil arrow fired into my life when I was conceived in my mother's womb in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and declare that my family and I will not be victims of evil arrows in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my family and I will not be victims of evil arrows in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my family and I will not be victims of evil arrows in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of setback fired against my moving forward in life backfire in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of setback fired against my moving forward in life backfire in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of setback fired against my moving forward in life backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow targeted at my spiritual life to bring me down go back to its sender in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow targeted at my spiritual life to bring me down go back to its sender in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow targeted at my spiritual life to bring me down go back to its sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired into my life when I was a baby and growing as a toddler backfire to its sender in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired into my life when I was a baby and growing as a toddler backfire to its sender in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired into my life when I was a baby and growing as a toddler backfire to its sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree and declare null and void every agenda of spiritual arrows fired into my destiny in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare null and void every agenda of spiritual arrows fired into my destiny in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare null and void every agenda of spiritual arrows fired into my destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of backwardness fired against me while I was asleep backfire in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of backwardness fired against me while I was asleep backfire in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of backwardness fired against me while I was asleep backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of failure at the edge of breakthrough fired against my life break in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of failure at the edge of breakthrough fired against my life break in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of failure at the edge of breakthrough fired against my life break in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command every spiritual arrow of failure fired against my career to return to its sender sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual arrow of failure fired against my career to return to its sender sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I command every spiritual arrow of failure fired against my career to return to its sender sevenfold in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired against my life to cut my life short backfire in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired against my life to cut my life short backfire in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired against my life to cut my life short backfire in the name of Jesus. Amen. O oh Lord, let every witchcraft spiritual arrow fired against my glory break and go back to its sender, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let every witchcraft spiritual arrow fired against my glory break and go back to its sender, in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let every witchcraft spiritual arrow fired against my glory break and go back to its sender, in Jesus' name. Amen. I shield myself AMD my family with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost against every spiritual arrow in the name of Jesus. I shield myself AMD my family with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost against every spiritual arrow in the name of Jesus. I shield myself AMD my family with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost against every spiritual arrow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired against my finances and prosperity return to its sender in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired against my finances and prosperity return to its sender in the name of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow fired against my finances and prosperity return to its sender in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command every spiritual arrow of sickness and disease fired against my health to return to its sender in Jesus' name. I command every spiritual arrow of sickness and disease fired against my health to return to its sender in Jesus' name. I command every spiritual arrow of sickness and disease fired against my health to return to its sender in Jesus' name. Amen. 
O Lord, by your power, I command every spiritual arrow of blood-sucking demons targeted at my life and my family to suck their own blood, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, I command every spiritual arrow of blood-sucking demons targeted at my life and my family to suck their own blood, in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, I command every spiritual arrow of blood-sucking demons targeted at my life and my family to suck their own blood, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of shame and reproach fired against my life return to its sender, in the of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of shame and reproach fired against my life return to its sender, in the of Jesus. Lord, let every spiritual arrow of shame and reproach fired against my life return to its sender, in the of Jesus. Amen. Every spiritual arrow fired against my life that is tying me down to a spot, I lose myself from you and break free today from your grip, in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual arrow fired against my life that is tying me down to a spot, I lose myself from you and break free today from your grip, in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual arrow fired against my life that is tying me down to a spot, I lose myself from you and break free today from your grip, in the name of Jesus. Amen. O oh Lord, I ask that you deliver me from every stronghold of the evil ones, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, I ask that you deliver me from every stronghold of the evil ones, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, I ask that you deliver me from every stronghold of the evil ones, in the name of Jesus. Amen. By your power, O oh Lord, separate me from destiny blockers and destroyers who have boasted that I will not live to fulfill destiny, in the name of Jesus. By your power, O oh Lord, separate me from destiny blockers and destroyers who have boasted that I will not live to fulfill destiny, in the name of Jesus. By your power, O oh Lord, separate me from destiny blockers and destroyers who have boasted that I will not live to fulfill destiny, in the name of Jesus. Amen. O oh Lord, deliver me from every stronghold of witches and wizards blocking me from making progress in life, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, deliver me from every stronghold of witches and wizards blocking me from making progress in life, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, deliver me from every stronghold of witches and wizards blocking me from making progress in life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every monitoring spirit giving updates to the kingdom of darkness about my life, I command you to be destroyed by fire, in the name of Jesus. Every monitoring spirit giving updates to the kingdom of darkness about my life, I command you to be destroyed by fire, in the name of Jesus. Every monitoring spirit giving updates to the kingdom of darkness about my life, I command you to be destroyed by fire, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every destiny blocker standing on my way to success, I command you to get out of my way, in the name of Jesus. Every destiny blocker standing on my way to success, I command you to get out of my way, in the name of Jesus. Every destiny blocker standing on my way to success, I command you to get out of my way, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with us all in Jesus' name. Amen.